leak code number 112. It's a question called path sum. And here we're given a root of a binary tree and an integer target sum. We want to return true if the tree has a root to leap path, such that adding up all the values along the path equals the target sum. And a leaf is a node with no children. So here we have this tree, and if we add up this numbers on the path from the root to leaf uh, path, they do add up to the target sum, which is 22, so it's true. Here from root to leaf, the target is 5, and there's no root to leaf path that equals 5, so we're going to output false. Okay, so the way we want to think about this is we, we're going to have to create a recursive solution. And what we want to do is we want to figure out when we are in our base case, when we hit that leaf level. And as we go down the tree, as we traverse from top to bottom, we want to subtract whatever the value is at our current node from the target sum. And we just want to pass that target sum as a variable all the way down until we hit the bottom. And when we hit the bottom, if whatever that is in that sum equals whatever the value is at the bottom, then we know that the path all the way down is going to equal uh, the target. So let's let's break this down. So here we start at the root uh, five, and our target is twenty-two. Okay, so target here is going to equal twenty-two. Now we're going to recursively call uh, our our depth first search helper function, and we're going to subtract whatever the value is at our current node when we pass it down to the left and the right. Okay, so we're gonna subtract minus five from that 22, and we're gonna subtract minus five. So now here on this, this call, target is gonna equal 17, and target is gonna equal 17. Our base case is, is are we at a leaf node? We're not, so we're gonna continue on. Now we're gonna subtract from 17, we're gonna pass in uh, for the left, we're going to subtract 8 from our slate sum, the sum that we're passing in down the, down the tree, and we're going to subtract 8 from uh, the right side. Here we're going to subtract 4 as we pass it down as a variable. Okay, so now on this level of the tree, our target becomes 9, and our target here becomes 9. And now, here we did hit a leaf node we just ask is our running slate our running sum does it equal whatever the value is at the leaf it doesn't so we don't do anything we just return out of it okay here we do have a right node this is right so it goes this way uh, we do have a right node and so what we want to do is we want to pass in we want to subtract uh, four from our target so when we get down here to the bottom, our target is going to equal five, and then we ask, does this equal whatever our running tar what running sum is? It doesn't. So we also return out of there. We don't do anything. Let's go over to the left side. Here we subtracted four from seventeen, so our target is going to be thirteen. Okay. Now we hit this eleven. There's a right and a left, so we're going to subtract eleven from our running sum, and we're going to subtract eleven from our uh, left side and our right side. So here when we subtract 11 from 13 our target equals 2. Does this equal 7? No it doesn't. Okay so we also return out of there. And here our target is going to equal 2. Does this equal our running sum? It does. And so we have a global counter which is uh, we can just name it has path, right? We can set that as a global counter, and we can initialize it to false, but if it does hit this base case, and it does have, uh, the running sum does equal whatever is in that node, uh, that leaf level node's value, then we just change this to true. Okay, and then when we break out of our helper function, we just return our global has path, and it'll be true. And you can see here that if you add up all these numbers together, it does equal our target sum. Okay, so that's the idea. Um, let's talk about time and space complexity. Uh, for time complexity, 
we're going to have to traverse through every single node because we have to figure out the path for every single node, what the sum is at the leaf level. Okay, So our time complexity here, worst case, is going to be O of n. Now what about space complexity? Well, we, we're not generating any new space because we just have a, a counter here. We do have this running sum that we're keeping track of, so we do have some space there. But we also have the call stack. Because we're using recursion, we're going to have to have a, a, a recursive call stack. And the call stack is going to be, at the worst case, at the leaf level, it's going to be the height of the tree. Okay. So if you're dealing with a balanced binary tree, then it will be log n. But if the tree is unbalanced, for example, if the tree just looks, it's just one-sided, right? Then the height of it will, will be uh, n. It'll be the size of the tree. So our space complexity here, worst case, if we're dealing with an unbalanced binary tree, it's also going to be uh, linear as well. Okay, it's just gonna be the size of the call stack and also the, the sum that we're keeping track of. Okay, so that is the basic idea. Let's jump into the code. Okay, give me one second here. Let's disconnect there. So now, let's take a look at what we want to do. The first thing we want to do is we want to take care of our edge case of if we uh, if the input is is, is uh, empty. So if the root is null, then we want to go ahead and just return false. Okay, now what we want to do is we want to create a global, a global has path, a global variable, a boolean. So we can say let has path equals false. We'll just initialize it to false. And now we want to set up our recursive uh, depth first search helper function. Okay, this is going to take in a node and then it'll take in our running sum. And now what we want to do is we want to check as our base case, we want to check are we at a leaf level. So if uh, node, we can just say if node.left uh, equals null and node.right equals null, then what do we want to do? We want to check is the sum at that leaf level equal the node.val. So we can say if sum equals node.val, then we do have we do have a viable path and we just want to change our global variable to true. So we can just say has path equals true. And then we just return out of that. If we're not at a leaf level, then what do we need to do? We need to check if there's a left node and then recursively call depth first search on that and then check if there's a right node and recursively call depth first search on that. So if node.left, then we just want to do depth first search on node.left and then subtract from the sum uh, node.val, our current node's value. We just want to subtract that from the, from the sum. Okay, here we want to do if node.write, depth first search, node.write, and then subtract sum from the node.val. Okay, and then we just want to call, let me go ahead and make some more space here. We want to call our depth first search helper function, pass in the root, and then pass in the target sum. And lastly, we just return has path. Okay, so that's it. Let's go ahead and run this, make sure it works. And we're good. Okay, so it's not a not too difficult of a problem. Um, you know, it's a common pattern, this depth first search helper pattern. It's also used in combinatrix, you know, uh, com, you know, combinatorials, uh, many different uh, questions that use uh, this, this particular pattern. So it's a good one to know. We'll do other questions that, that use the same pattern. So if this still isn't clear, just, you know, watch the other videos in this playlist uh, and it'll start making sense. Okay, so that's lead code 112, Pat Sum. Hope you enjoyed it and I will see you all in the next one.